So here's a video, um, and it's a silly video, but maybe I perplexed on this for a while. What do you do about this barrel? You want to cut it up for pieces. And uh, what's the best way to do it? Um, so uh, I, the last time I did it, I did, well, I'm going to cut the sides first. So, so basically I'm cutting for something like that. So I want strips. I'll cut the strips first because I don't want the barrel to go all flopsy while I'm working. Uh, well, it becomes kind of a crazy thing. Um, so yesterday I cut up a barrel and basically what you do is you cut off the tops first. And then you cut your, your, your strips. So fortunately there's already lines in the barrel from when they made it. Um, you can see uh, there's, there's some right here uh, in the plastic. Um, so I just hit it with a magic marker so that I can see it while I'm running a power saw through it. Uh, this end over here has the, the lip I could use as a guide or I could have drawn a line. But the lip is going to be where I put the power saw against. And then here Fortunately, is the seam for the barrel because they they sandwich two halves together to make it and you know you spin it around there's another one on there also and uh, you know there's another street which also you know how do you hold it I mean here's this is great because I'm multitasking my chairs to hold the barrel in place. It holds it perfectly. It's not saw horses or rolling around on the ground. Um, so the other suggestion is, is if you can use a uh, powered uh, circular saw. Now there's also a battery one over there. The port cables are they're great but I'll tell you I'll go through six batteries to cut this up because uh, cutting plastic, the plastic tends to heat up and it grabs the blade. It's just like cutting wet wood, which uh, I do a lot of. And then the table saw, I put a, uh, I put a board on there so that I can hold the edge above the guide. And then I can cut it with the table saw and get uh, eight, equal pieces which just ended up be about eight and a half inches I believe um, 9.2 is the equal um, thing but then you got to have a, a round it has an arc to it so um, I cut it in half and then I get two curved pieces of plastic from the barrel and then I bring it over here Safety glasses and all. You can't have plastic flying in the air. Put it on here. I don't use the guide. Uh, attach the board uh, to your circular saw. See, because that guide's pretty small. It'd be really hard to keep the plastic uh, uniform. And I cut it up. Then I end up with eight pieces that are uh, that are equal. Let me see what that blade is. Because actually, I had to tweak it. I ended up with a two inch strip when I was using it before. And as you can see, yep, I am at eight and a half on the blade. And that seems like it works really well because um, of the arc. That's it for now.